We are going to be discussing on how to troubleshoot group policy issues. So let's say you've deployed group policy to a device and you want to see which policy have been deployed to that device. You can use the command called GP results. So the GP result command is a useful tool in Windows for displaying the group policy settings that are currently, are currently applied to a user or computer. It provides a detailed report that shows which GPUs are in, are in effect and the settings they enforce. So let's say I have this domain device. I want to check which policy has been applied to this domain computer. I can just enter GP result and then do arrow. So by doing that, you can see we have, we can now see which policy have been applied to this device. For example, you can see computer settings. Here we have the applied group policy object. We can see the domain, uh, the default domain policy, MDM policy, WS, WSUS policy. And also we also have for the user's settings as well. You can also do the same on a Windows client operating system. If I go to my PowerShell, and you need, you need to open PowerShell as administrator. Let me just give you that tip. Because when you open PowerShell, as even if you are logging into that device as, a, as an admin, you still need to open PowerShell as an administrator. So let me let me just show you what I mean. If I go to PowerShell and I open, let me just try to open PowerShell. Let me just open PowerShell without being an, an administrator. But I'm logging into the device as administrator. So if I enter the following command, GP result slash arrow enter the following and you can see here that i'm only seeing the user's settings and not the um, computer settings but if i do it here gp result and hit enter here you can see i'm seeing actually more information for example we have the computer settings this is actually because if you open this information to see this information the complete information of the gp result or the policies that have been applied to that device you will need to start the command prompt as an administrator it gives you an elevated right and without that elevated right you will only see the policy that have been applied to the user's device but at the same time if i enter the policy and i do a question mark here i can see all what for example we can see a detailed information on what I can actually do with the GP result. For example, the I can specify the remote system to connect. I can actually do a password. I can do for I can check for the users. Specify the user's name for which the error SOP data is to be displayed. So you can see a detailed information. For example, we can actually do get a report.html. We can target a specific user, target a specific name, or even a specific device. So these are the things you can actually do with the GP results. So you can actually just play to play with it yourself and you, you can actually there you can see the results.